Welcome to LUTV News In Focus, where we feature interesting topics on campus, in the community, and in the world of culture. I am Taylor Justice. Whether you're in the market for educational children's books or looking to cozy up with a novel, Denson Books has you covered. Calvin Denson is a local writer who grew up in Beaumont and is here to share his experience as a published author. Hey Calvin, how are you? How you doing, Miss Taylor? I'm good, how are you? Just blessed and happy <laughs> that uh, I'm here today on your show. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Tell me a little bit about yourself as an author. Well, as I'm an author of 15 books, 10 published books, five books that haven't been released yet. And it's just a gift from God because I'm able to write three books at a time. As a matter of fact, I'm able to write a book while I'm on this show right now. It's just a gift from God and it's a blessing that I'm here today. So you write both children's books and novels. Tell me a little bit about your children's books. My children's books, uh, five of my children's books are dedicated to my mom because she passed away of cancer. That's what inspires me as well. And I started those kids' books, which was the best decision I ever made in my life because it made me a full-time author. But I have books about learning experiences like Why Me Is on Bullying, Fun Day with Dad, Jeff the Janitor Teaches Kids About Germs, Missing Mommy at School, uh, My Piggy Bank Shows Kids How to Save Money. Just try to tackle the things that kids need to uh, hear about. And a lot of readers tell me and teachers tell me, we love your books because they're not just stories, they're stories that kids need. And you also write novels. Tell me about your novels. Well, my novels, it's just, based, I started writing novels off my life. I just took a collage of everyone I've met in life and implemented and made my own characters. Now I could just make it up, but my novel Autumn Tree and Autumn's Love, it's like a trilogy, but I write my books to stand alone. So you'll know, really you're learning a lot about my story and people around my sto me in those stories, but just adding my twist to it. What inspired you to begin writing these novels? Well, my mom was passing away of cancer uh, late in 2009, and I was a full-time caretaker. And I did a lot of things in my life that I had, wasn't, I'm not a proud of today, but it made me who I am. And as I, as my mom was transitioning, I wanted to show her, Mom, I'm not a, um, I, I know I did things I wasn't supposed to do, but look what I could do. I was listening to you. I, I just told, I chose that life. Do not hold back on whatever it is you need to do and moving forward because of me. I'm letting you know that I was listening. I'm very smart. So it just was me teaching, showing her, look, Mama, look what I could do. And that's what that's why I'll never get writer's block. I'm actually a very gifted writer because when I write, I still hear my mom ask me what happened next. So I just keep typing. This is what happened next, Mama. Did you always know that you wanted to become a writer? No, ma'am, uh, because, but teachers was telling me I was a writer. I can write. I ain't gonna, not a writer, but I can write. And I wasn't listening because I was growing up in the streets of uh, South Park, this neighborhood right here. And I was just happy that I got an A in, in the pa on a paper. I got an A, I'll write my mama happy, cool. But they was actually saying, Calvin, let me talk to you after class. At this school right here, Lamar, as well, telling me, let me talk to you after class. You see those students, they got A's because they did everything I asked, you with the, with, uh, asked them to do. You got an A because you made me see it. All right, cool, I got an A, let me go. So I wasn't listening, but they was actually telling me that I could write. What do you hope that the books that you've published brings to your audience, your readers? I just want people to know that you, everyone has a gift. And as I continue to write, I don't know what your gift is, but if you just stay focused and disciplined, you will become whoever it is that you want to be. And I hope that I can be a role model for that to show people that, look, just keep going despite what people say about you. Uh, and if people don't want to give you a platform, make one for yourself. And that's what I've done. And, and it made me a full-time author now for four years. So you speak at a lot of schools about your books. Yes, ma'am. And earlier when we were speaking, you were telling me about the 10. Uh, Denson, Calvin Denson's top 10 guidelines on writing books. Yes, I thought that was really interesting when you were telling me about that. So what is the 10 guidelines? It just shows readers, shows people who want to write how I approach writing my book. Like rule number one, who is your audience? Like a lot of people tell me, I wrote, the, I wrote a book, I wrote a book. But uh, nobody, and they put the book out, and the only person who brought that book was their friends, 
and uh, mom and family members, no one else. That's because you didn't want, you didn't acknowledge who is your audience before you started writing a book. See, when I write my books, I think about everybody gonna read my book. A lot of people say, uh, I, I, liked it. I liked your book, Calvin, for as my friends, for as if you was to write a book and you say, a lot of people say, I liked your book, Miss Taylor. Yes, they liked your book because they know you. They know when you, girl, I remember when you did that. But Calvin Denson don't know because I don't know you. See, I write my books for everyone to understand. What advice would you give to those who want to someday become an author? To stay focused and most of all, if people saying you're crazy, you own something, you're doing something right. Are we going to see any new books coming out? No new books coming out uh, as of the moment. Well, I haven't did Mommy Has Eyes in Back of her Head yet. That's why I'm out here. That's why I will be coming to those locations. And that's why you people are seeing me in, in uh, the area right now because Mommy Has Eyes in Back of her Head just came out in January. It's a very good book. So I will be bringing that new book to the table and I know people a lot are go, gonna order it. But my next book comes out in October and it's called The Perfect Eight. And it's about an Eric and, it's a novel about an Eric and Bull Rider from Hillebrand, Texas. And I'm teaching in the book, it's not always about winning. Sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. You never lose. The only L you get is a learning L. Well, that's exciting. I'll definitely be on the lookout for um, whatever you come out with next. Before we wrap things up today, is there anything else, any insight, anything that you'd like to provide for those who are watching? Just want to let people know that they could go to DensonBooks.com to check me out on Facebook and Instagram, Denson Books, if you want to know more about me. And just let people know to follow your dreams and never hold back, never doubt yourself. My mom taught me, she said, out of all my kids, Calvin is the only one that knows how to pat himself on the back. He needs no one to tell him he's doing a good job, and that's going to take him a long way. <laughs> well, I thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for coming and speaking about thank your you for experiences. To learn more about Calvin Denson Books, visit www.densonbooks.com or visit his Facebook or Instagram. Thank you for watching LUTV News In Focus. To see more content from LUTV News, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook.